Get my cutter, get my torch Pour a beverage and I step out on the porch Grab a cigar, I love that view I guess it's time for another Poolside Cigar Review <laughs> How you doing everybody? Welcome back to another weeknight edition of Poolside Cigar Reviews with Kirk Tonight I'm coming at you with the Herrera Esteli by Drew Estate. This is their 2014 Edition Limitada Lancero. I don't know how limited it really is. It seems like the only criteria for a limited edition anymore is a second band. So who knows, but it's a great cigar. It's a little sweet, very complex, deep tobacco, um, little earth, little, little raisiny sweetness. Very nice. A little creamy. Not much pepper spice. Actually, almost none. Very, very faint, faint hint of black pepper flavor, but no tingle, nothing like that. And it's pairing gorgeously with an Old Polony 21. Is it 21? Yeah. Beautiful. Featured it in other videos. Namely, uh, I give it a good full. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. I give it a good full description in my uh, Padrone 80 year video. So if you want to hear more about that, Scott, check that video out. So yeah, it's been a while since I've popped in to say hello. And uh, actually, today I got a message, he sent it a few days ago, but from, uh, from a nice gentleman named Seth who sent me a message on Facebook asking, you know, if I was still around and when to expect another video. Figure no time like the present, right? So here I am. You know, I, I haven't, uh, you know, I didn't quit smoking cigars. I didn't quit drinking fine spirits. I just quit filming, my, filming myself doing it. Uh, and not because filming is a pain in the butt, but more, you know, the editing... And, you know, writing the descriptions and the keywords and loading, you know, uploading it to YouTube. It's just, that takes time, you know, and, and it, you know, my YouTube channel takes a backseat to life. Uh, although life's been good lately. No, I'm not, I don't have any complaints about that either. Um, I started a new job less than a month ago. And it's actually, a, it's been a great move for me. You know, it's uh, so far, it's a lot less stress. Heck of a lot less email, which is nice. I, I went from a, from a fairly large company to a much smaller company. I was with a, I was with a company that had 35,000 employees, uh, down to a company that has about 250, which is a big cultural change, and I'm loving it. That's great. And this cigar is great, and I'm loving it. So thank you, Seth, for uh, putting me on the spot and uh, asking where the videos are. Because I do enjoy making them, I really do. Um, you know, I love talking to you guys, and I love hearing your comments, and uh, just seeing what you have to say. I also saw that I'm above 600 subscribers, which is super cool. Sincerely, thank you so much, guys, for all the subscriptions and all the comments. Really means a lot. You know, I'll try to come at you with uh, with some good cigars that I'm smoking. Uh, if you are curious, I'll go ahead and plug uh, my Instagram account. So I've had an Instagram for like a year, year and a half, but I, I really haven't used it. I just had one. Um, and then just recently I've started posting to it. So if you want to see what I'm up to, if you're, if you're into Instagram, um, search for poolside cigar reviews and follow me. And there will definitely be a lot more posts to that because Instagram is instant and it's really easy for me to take a picture and write a description and post it. So if you really want to follow what I'm smoking, what I'm drinking, what I'm up to, follow me on Instagram. Um, nice cigar. I love Lanceros. Burning very nicely, nice open draw. Very good, no complaints. So hopefully this video finds you all well. You know, uh, it's been a long time since I've talked to you and you can expect some some reviews in the next few weeks. You know, uh, a couple months ago, Corey from Famous Smoke 
uh, sent me an email asking if I want to review some cigars for, for Famous Smoke. I said, sure. So they sent me out some uh, Fuente Queen Bees. And they sent me out three of those. I just smoked the second one the other day. I like to let them rest in my humidor for a good while, make sure that they're good to smoke after they go through the mail. So the, uh, the next review I do will probably be that Fuente Queen Bee. So you can look forward to that. I know Corey's made his rounds on the uh, the YouTube cigar review community. I think he I, I've seen quite a few people who got cigars from him. So uh, that'll be coming up. And uh, other than that, not too much else is going on. I think we're losing light quickly here. I'm probably getting pretty dark for you. So I just wanted to pop in and say hey, and I hope life's going well for everybody. You know, um, things get stressful at times. And we got to do what we got to do to uh, to de-stress. And for some of us, probably most of you if you're watching this uh, this video, we tend to de-stress with cigars. So nothing wrong with that, as long as you do it in moderation. Diet and exercise help too. I've been slacking on both those counts, and, uh, and I'm feeling it. Absolutely feeling it. So anywho, guys, I'll go ahead and leave you with that. Uh, enjoy your cigars. Enjoy life. Live in the now, you know, uh, I don't know if it's like a, a Buddhist thing, but I know qu qu quite a while ago I heard, I, I can't even attribute the quote, I'm sure it's probably widely quoted and someone will correct me um, if I misquote it, but uh, it's kind of about, you've probably heard the importance of living in the here and now, and I believe in that, you know, I, I mean, I'm a fairly conservative guy and I do plan for the future. But uh, I think it's really easy to get bogged down in trying to get somewhere. You know, you get, it's, all, it's about the destination. And you've heard, you know, life's, not a, life's a journey, not a destination. And I think that's kind of the same thing where, you know, I, th I think it's a Buddhist thing about being in the here and now, being present. And uh, I think it's only, only when you realize that there is no there that you're here. Because every time you try to get there, it's always different. There really, there is no there, here and now. So... That's enough of my, you know, philosophy, which I'm not a big philosopher, but, uh, but that's my philosophy, philosophy for tonight. Be here, be now, and if you can stay, especially if you're smoking a cigar, if you're smoking a cigar, your here and now is not that bad because you wouldn't smoke a cigar during the really bad stuff, generally. And if you are smoking a cigar during the really bad stuff, you're taking time out away from the bad stuff. So either way, I would guess if you're smoking a cigar, at least now is good. So at least enjoy now. Oh, that was heady. All right, guys. Until next time, keep your feet in the pool, a drink in your hand, and a cigar in your mouth. Take care, everybody.